Hi, working on a smaller one of my catapults today, half size, making it out of matchsticks. Really cheap if you buy them like this, they're cocktail, cocktail picks, you can get them at for a, a dollar big, I think. Okay, drilling a small hole today, so what I'm going to do is glue one of my little drill bits in a marette. Really cheap way, easy method of drilling small holes. If you don't have that, take a needle and bust the eye in half, okay? Then with the small little uh, half broken piece there, you can drill a nice, nice hole. You know, get a smaller needle than this one, obviously. When you're drilling small holes, use a, a center punch. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a needle, okay? And, and basically, all you want to do is just, you know, mark where you're going to put your drill. Otherwise, you're going to be off, especially on small stuff, okay? So hopefully that's in the right spot. Might need it up a little bit. You won't notice it here anyways. Okay, so that's where I'm going to drill my... Hi. Should have probably showed you how to uh, tie the knot on the end of these little pins that I've used here. I've actually just used sequin pins. These are very handy for building. In fact, you can see I've used those to uh, install the, the roller here to tighten, or the windlass, or winch. Okay. Um, use those again for putting the wheels on and stuff. What I use, I, uh, I use the, the point to get my hole started, force it through a little bit, then I take wire cutters and cut them off to the length that I need the pin at, and then poke it through. Eh? That way you have your, you know, your pin at an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch, whatever you need it at. So what I'm doing here is I'm uh, sewing now the, the threads back and forth. Okay. And you just want to make sure that you kind of go on each side of your pin. And you want to pull it as tight as you can. So do about, you know, three or four first. And then start tightening those up. Okay, then now you have to hold, hold pressure on. Now I'm blind as a bat, so hopefully I don't get my head right in the way here trying to see. Got bifocals and spent about four hundred dollars on these stupid glasses. Got these and I got reading glasses and man, still can't see. I gotta get everything about six inches away from my face to be able to see it. Okay, and you just put as many uh, wraps in through here as you can. It's a little little hard towards the end, but like I said, you want to try keeping them as tight as you can. I'm uh, just doing single thread strands through here. I don't have my thread doubled. I am um, using just a polyester. Uh, probably the best stuff for this would be dental floss. I'm using this brown here just because I want this, the thread to look like old, old type thread, or not thread, but rope. Trying to make it look realistic. So this thing stands about an inch and a half high. I got you up close. Oh, I spilled my coffee. Now that I've got you up close here, I'll. Uh, show you these uh, toothpicks here too that I use. These are uh, use these for a lot of things. So that's what I've used on this for the, the winch through the handles. Just drilled holes in there. They come out. Now you want to put through as many uh, wraps as you possibly can. So, whoops, towards the end here, you are going to have to use needle nose. Uh, try not to poke the needle through your thumb, pushing it from the other end. I always just turn it upside down and press it on the, the table. Eh? You're always in danger of uh, bending the, the needle, but oh well. So, this is one of the hazards of using uh, 
single thread all the time. Didn't know that you pull it all the way out. So unless you're good at threading needles, what you'll have to do is get one of those little needle threader loop things. A little piece of wire, eh? Or just use a little thin stock of wire and make a loop. Poke the loop through the hole and then uh, put your thread through the loop and then pull your, your wire back out, eh? Threads your needle. Works really good. Okay, so make as many of these as you can. Now towards the end here I'm going to use a couple of the double laps. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how many more I can get through here. I've got probably oh, 20 through now. Oops. It's kind of tricky tying it onto the little wire at the, uh, the start. I just use half hitches. Good project for little Jimmy. Okay, so this is what I mean by tying on the half hitches. Let's see if I can zoom in here enough for you. Okay. So what you do is you take take your thread and then just kind of twist it. It'll go into a loop and then just twist that loop. <laughs> just, just twist the loop onto the end of the pin. Yeah, easier said than done. Another little project for little Jimmy. Anyways, there we go. Okay, and you want a couple on there at least. One is a slip knot, two is a knot. There we go. Okay, so that's our uh, spring. Okay. Now the idea is to force this match stick in through our, our little spring. Okay, so on, on the big projects, uh, something like, you know, the bigger shooter that I'm making, they actually have to, you have to take some wedges, okay, and uh, I just used a plywood wedge again because you gotta put a lot of force in there. We're not gonna be able to do that on here. By the way, this this cord didn't work. Okay, this is an attempt number three on here. My pins, I gotta I forgot to put washers on there. So I'm <laughs> gonna have to put washers on there. So you want it basically through the middle. this to a point but I don't think I can get that point down through there. So what we'll do, we'll take two pins here and we'll find the middle. this thing through. Uh, it goes up. And I got my bottom support a little tight there. But anyways, you can see already we've got snap, boing, 